What's up squash players? I got a review for you of the Teuton Boostability shoes. This is a follow-up review I did an initial testing which you can check out on YouTube and this is my second review. This is after about a month and a half of playing with these full-time. I wanted to give you an update on how they feel, how the durability is going and all that. Thanks to Teuton. And to Javier from Teuton for sending me these shoes to review for everybody. So the shoes took about two sessions to actually break in. It was probably the third one where I felt completely comfortable with the grip. I had a little bit of sort of slippage on this outside piece that's not gum rubber in like the first two days that I wore them. And after that, I've had zero traction issues whatsoever. They've been very comfortable and I'll show you the wear and tear which is to show you that there is not much wear and tear. I don't see a whole lot of degradation anywhere on the outside parts of the shoe. They've remained very comfortable, very stable. This is where I drag my feet there. It's showing some wear but not nothing, um, nothing dramatic so far. Just surface abrasion. The insoles, we have more wear and tear on them. So these are removable, first of all. They're quite comfortable. The shoes have, by the way, room in the toe box. Uh, they're, they're, I would say, normal in terms of their width, except the toe has a little more room than my than the A6 gel tactic that I have been using. Here's the insoles. They have worn down on the big toe area. You can see there, and that one's actually just starting to wear through. I mentioned in the first video that they have padded insoles that I've never really seen before. And it's actually kind of interesting to see. Most of this padding for me is still there except here it's starting to kind of get compacted and by the heel it's starting to get compacted and all and on the I guess that's the left shoe the I have completely worn down the little padding there on the heel portion the rest of it's pretty well intact and there's no padding here that's just where my toe is I guess sliding around as I scoot around the courts. As I mentioned in the other video, Teuton sends you two pairs of insoles. So I have a, a completely fresh pair here that I will throw into these shoes at the moment when I feel like the other ones are no longer comfortable. I, I'm, I'm pointing out this wear and tear, but I don't feel that at all when I'm playing. And whenever I decide that it's time, I will swap it out for some more insoles. And this is actually a great feature of the Teuton, and I don't know if they sell these separately, if you can just keep, keep going with some insoles to keep the padding fresh rather than buying a whole new pair of shoes, which, um, I mean, obviously at some point these are going to wear down as well, but you could extend the life of, your, uh, of the shoes in terms of the insole portion just by replacing the insoles. And of course, you can use third-party insoles as well. Overall, I'm finding these shoes very comfortable. There was a commentary on Squash Source that said that they weren't really up to snuff in terms of durability because they were kind of new. But uh, like I've like I've shown you, I really don't see in the first month and a half any sort of problems with the structural with the durability of these shoes and they have been playing and performing really well with me. So, so the only question is gonna be how fast the insole goes and we'll see how that develops over time. The weight of these shoes is, I'm gonna measure them right now just for reference. I'm wearing US 11 and a half and this shoe is 335 and a half grams. That's, I put in a, the fresh insole just so you can get the full, full experience. They feel, uh, they feel light and maneuverable in terms of, uh, mentally in terms of how they feel. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, this is the Teuton Boostability shoe. They have a few different 
models uh, or two different models another one's called speed engine they have a few different pros that they're sponsoring including amanda sobe i saw that she switched from the speed engine to the boostability model this exact color uh, at the tournament of champions and abu elgar and um and a few others so they're making some moves in the squash arena so definitely keep an eye out for them again that's the two-ton squash shoes all right hopefully that was helpful thanks a lot